What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and welcome to the Countdown to Vendetta episode 2. In today's video I want to talk about left hand super match Oleg Jok versus Vitaly Laletin. This is number two super match that's gonna happen on November 17 as a part of Vendetta 50. I'm going to be there live watching these matches and maybe showing some video about it later. I recommend for everyone who watches this channel, for everyone who loves arm wrestling, buy pay-per-view, get your friends together, buy it on pay-per-view, all the money goes to arm wrestling community, to goes to building better events because I know how pricey it is to create that kind of event and Zloty Tour is always the highest on levels. Every time you get there, it's something new. Each year they created different stage, they created different things for athletes. I put link in the description where you can find Armbets TV. You can order it already now. I recommend doing arm wrestling party with your friends. It's Saturday and Sunday nights. Get your friends together, get a couple of arm wrestling tables, arm wrestle watch these matches you will have a great time because Mazarenko and Paul is doing great job creating amazing events. So let's get to the athletes. Vitaly Lelitin, one of the tallest arm wrestlers we have in arm wrestling, king in 110 kilo class for the last couple of years versus Oleg Jok, arguably the best left arm in the world. He's amazingly strong, his left arm is just freakishly large and uh, he's a hard worker. This is a guy who has this condition where his left arm is just bigger, stronger, tendons are bigger, stronger, but he's also a hard worker. He wants to become number one in the world and this match can uh, show a lot of things for us. So first of all, both of these guys usually fight in top role. I haven't seen a Latin pull in hook or any different kind of style. They usually using their leverage goes for top roll. Same is for Oleg Jok, we have seen that he has problems in hook, but when he gets that upper hand position, he's unstoppable there. I hope I didn't get this wrong, but the last time they met was Lottie Tour 2016 and Oleg won. It was pretty easy win for him, in my opinion. There wasn't that much that uh, Laletin could do, and this was different Oleg Jok, this was two years ago, he's a lot stronger than he was before. Let's talk about more frequent battles, so this year in European Championship, they both won their titles in their classes, Laletin winning 110 kilo class, uh, Jok winning 85 kilo class, Laletin looked good, there was nothing, not, nothing more out of ordinary, he he just beat everyone, it's, it was pretty easy for him, Jok didn't feel anyone, <laughs> I don't think, at all. There's this popular video where he pulls uh, Bethkili Oniani from Georgia and he just beats him in hook. First of all, Bethkili is amazing athlete, he's incredibly strong, he got him in hook position and Jok doesn't like hook position. In a real match where they would start, I think he just would open up his arm like can opener and, and and get the win. Also, Jacques won Pushkar this year in Lviv Cup and uh, that was a shock for everyone. So everyone says this fight was fake, I don't think it was fake. Jacques knows Pushkar very well and he has the tools to beat him and he used them. You can watch item rating video where Mazarenko talks about this but uh, he blocked his position and Pushkar couldn't do anything. After that match, I think there's nothing Laletin will do. I think Laletin is really good, he has uh, these amazing matches for, for I think 7 minutes where he just stands in his top row position in 2015 World Championship, but I don't think he can beat Oleg Jok. I give 6-0 to Oleg. I have nothing against Laletin, I think he's an amazing athlete, but right now Jok will come hungry. If he loses any match, I think that might be on false. I might be wrong, but what I have seen this year, the improvement, uh, the table control, everything, Jok is my favorite. He, he has, uh, in few years, I think we will see for number one spot, Levan Saginashvili versus Oleg Jok. So guys, these are my thoughts on this matchup. I think Jok is going to win. Their styles are too similar. But in my opinion, not only Jok's arm, but also his hand is a lot stronger than Laletin's. And I don't think he has anything else to add. I might be wrong. This is just uh, from things that I have seen this year and last year. But uh, we will see come November 17, who is the man. My prediction 6-0, Oleg Jok. Please leave a comment so I know 
What is your thoughts about this matchup? Who do you think is going to win? For next episode, we're going to talk about only woman matchup in Vendetta, Babrizhniak versus Kleinsmith. That's going to be a really interesting matchup. I think uh, they might have one of the best matches, but we will see. So guys, this was Countdown to Vendetta 50, episode 2. See you next time. Stay strong and love armistling.